Consider a liquid of density rho. Consider there is a liquid of density rho. Let a body be immersed in that liquid like this. And we have V, the total volume of the body. Total volume of the body. Let this portion, that is, this is the volume, let's call that as V dash, this, this volume equal to V dash, V dash is the volume of the submerged part, volume V dash is the volume of the submerged part, volume of the submerged part. Let sigma be the density of the body. Now we know since this part is only submerged, this volume, the submerged volume displaces equal volume of water. Then let this be the displaced volume. Volume will be V dash. Clear. Whatever part of the body be submerged inside the liquid, that equal amount of volume will be displaced by that body. So, for the condition of equilibrium or the floating condition is that weight of the body, weight of the body must be equal to weight of the liquid displaced. Weight of the liquid displaced. So this is the condition for floating of a body and weight of the body let's call that as W is equal to weight of the liquid displaced is equal to let's call that as W dash and we know weight of the body is equal to let M be the mass of the body and we have M is equal to volume of the body we know the total volume of the body V into sigma density mass is equal to volume into density but you know weight is equal to, weight is equal to mass into gravity here it is m dash into g implies mass we know volume into density v rho into g is equal to here it is v dash this weight of this will be v dash times the density of the liquid is rho that is m dash equal to m dash equal to v dash into rho volume into density so v dash into rho into g now you can cancel now you can cancel this g and this g so v dash by v is equal to sigma by rho or volume of the submerged part is equal to density of the body by density of the liquid times the total volume of the body. So this is the expression for volume of the submerged part.